Hi, I'm Jason Heath from Discover Double Bass, and I want to talk a bit about trilling on the bass. It's a great technique just for developing dexterity, and you're going to need to be able to trill on the bass anyway. So just a little bit about trilling on the bass. Let's find the note D on the G string right here, and between D and E, if we play one four, a lot of the time I hear people trill kind of like this. This sort of indistinct sound, just kind of like that. And they might even try to go really fast, but it's just kind of a fuzzy sound like that. The way you want to trill on the bass is actually quite a firm motion going down into the fingerboard. So you get this finger percussion sound. And you'll notice when I put down two, three, and four, I really get a nice little percussive sound on that E. So the best way to develop a strong trill and a clear trill is to go slow, but really make sure that you're closing the note. And that's about the fastest you really need to trill on the bass, just keeping that motion going nice and consistent and clean. So you're not trying to go too fast, but you're trying to be as clear and clean as you can. So that's a one four trill. For a half step trill, one two is my preferred fingering, and it's the exact same concept. Go slow, but be nice and firm and percussive in the left hand. And I make sure that every day I spend at least a minute or two practicing those motions. They not only help with trilling, but they just help with cleanliness and dexterity in your playing in general. And you can alternate one, two, one, four. And you can also do two, four, although I prefer not to actually do two, four unless I have to on the bass, because it's just not quite a strong enough combination for me. So alternating between those is a great way to develop your trill technique and your left hand strength and dexterity. And I've got a full length course on discoverdoublebass.com with more information about this and many other topics. You can check out the full details below.